hey guys so in this video let's talk about uh, what is lang graph and how does it work through a simple tutorial so we already know what is langchain it's an open source ai framework to help you build llm powered applications so uh, lang graph again is a powerful extension of the langchain library which is basically designed to help developers build these advanced uh, ai agents by enabling stateful multi agent applications with cyclic computation capabilities so lang graph basically ensures that that the agents execute in in a proper order correct order and that the necessary information is exchanged uh, seamlessly so what usually happens when a complex user query comes in this user query gets divided into small chunks small tasks uh, so, so that the query can be handled uh, easily so each query is assigned to um, each uh, ai agent so this query assignment to each agent the information flow and all this is directed by lang graph so as you can see in the image you need to understand three things here state node and edge so what is state state uh, represents the context or memory that is maintained and updated as the uh, computation progresses and then comes the nodes uh, which serves as the building blocks of the graph um representing individual computation steps or functions and then comes the edges uh, uh nothing but the connected nodes within the graph defining the flow of computation from one step to the next so uh let's see how to build a simple uh simple question um, generation agent using lang graph in our uh, in our tutorial Hey guys, so here is the complete tutorial of how to build a question generation agent using Lang Graph. So we will be using the Mistral 8 uh, 7B model as our LLM, large language model, and uh, we will use the Grok API key to access the LLM model. So let's build a simple agent in which the user gives a topic to the agent and the agent basically generates content on the topic and then also uh, generates questions based on the content generated so first things first let's install the required dependencies and import all the packages um, we're using langchain grok and then uh, lang graph uh, langchain so and then we are importing and then we are basically initializing the uh, llm we are uh, gonna give uh, mention the grok api key once um, it asks us to enter the grok api key and then and then now we define our state class which is of type um, type deck uh, which helps us basically uh, type check our inputs to the state object and then let's break it down on what this will do uh, it will create a dictionary something like um, given below like messages message one and message two and let's create our first node. Uh, the below function is our first node, uh, which will uh, generate content on a topic. When given a topic, it will generate the content. And then let's create our second node. Uh, we will basically create uh, two nodes here. Um, so the second node, which will basically generate questions from the generated content from the first node. So that's what it is. And uh, we will then create an instance of the state graph this instance will help us build our graph and then now uh, we will add our nodes to the graph using the builder uh, the builder um, this is how it is done and then now we set the entry point for the graph execution um, and then now we will add edges to the graph which will uh, define our flow of execution of the graph and then basically we will visualize how our graph basically looks um, it starts with um, it starts and then the LLM comes in between and it creates the questions and that's how it will end. Uh, so that's how the visualization visualization um, feature looks like. And then now we provide the topic on which the LLM um, needs to generate the content. So I'm um, the query is about hey uh, generate content regarding Bengaluru and then the content should be of uh, 50 words. So that's the query. Basically, it will generate the content and then it will also generate the questions based on the generated content. So you can see the uh, dictionary generated with the content and questions. You can access the questions generated using the code below. So 
we have the content generated about uh, Bangalore and depending on that, we have two questions here. We have questions here, right? Um, how has Bengaluru earned the title of Silicon Valley of India and what impact has this had on the city's economic reputation? And the second one is like beyond its high tech industry, how does Bengaluru's rich culture heritage, including temples, play, palaces and museums contribute to the city's appeal for both tourists and residents? So these are the questions generated, um, right? So that's how you can basically um, create, um, you know, uh, the question generation agent. You can also do different um, other things, like, you know, uh, create a multi-agent architecture workflow. So that's how useful LangGraph is. Hope you understood. And I'm going to share the link of the notebook code so that you can go, go through it and then understand how LangGraph basically works. Thanks.